Week in, week out, just been preparing uh, to, to play and, and put on that jumper. And uh, yeah, somehow 150 snuck up on me pretty uh, pretty quickly. So uh, maybe when I'm an old fella, I can sit back and uh, reflect and uh, you know and let it sink in. Uh, being a kid, I was a, a late bloomer, I guess. Um, my first sport was soccer. Um, all my brothers and my dad's a, a big soccer fan, so I played soccer till I was about 11 or 12. And just by the off chance, my friends came and picked me up one day, took me to, to rugby training. Uh, uh, Marisol Michael's done in, uh, in Vegas, um, and it just started from there. I can't really remember the game, um, but I do remember the trainings and, and just loved uh, you know, hitting people and, and getting hit. Um, and it's just, you know, that, I guess that fire started uh, back then when I was a, a 12 year old. Yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to go to the mighty Rotorua Boys High School, the only boys high school uh, in, the, in this country. Um, and I had some great mentors, um, Fred Futter and, and Chris Grinter. Uh, Andre Bell really, you know, pushed me in the direction of, of where I am today. And it wasn't for their guidance, um, you know, I don't think I'd be here today. Uh, probably the biggest highlight for me, um, in my Chiefs career is probably uh, the friends that I've made uh, along the path, along the journey. I've gained some really, really close friends, some close mates. Um, but on the footy side of things, probably it's hard to beat the, the two finals that, that we've been through. Um, but I also never forget the, you know, the hard times that, that I've been through in, in that Chiefs jumper. Um, so it's hard to, to pinpoint one, one massive highlight, but maybe the, the one game that really stands out for me is um, uh, my 100th cap. Um, like I said, I was, I didn't really expect to get to 100 and um, as you saw the numbers tick up to, to 100, you sort of get, get a bit nervous and I was really waiting to, for that day to come and then when it came it just sort of, you know, um, really hit me after the game and the, the boys were standing in the, in the change room and, uh, and performed the haka and one of my best mates turned it over right in front and he was just staring me down and it was you know, hard to, to look at him. Um, you know, that really, really stood up for me and made me really, really proud to, to be a Chief that day. Um, when I was a kid, um, I always wanted to be a Chief. Um, obviously, I started rugby later. Um, and in Red we, we didn't have any All Blacks at the time and we just had Chiefs. So, all I wanted to be was a Chief and I always had that passion to, to be one. And to obviously, to become one was massive for me. And um, just having that passion, you know, that passion to, to do whatever and, and the will to do, what, um, to do whatever it takes for your teammates. and. I think if young ones can really take that away, just have that passion for whatever you're doing, um, rugby, school, whatever, um, you know, and, and passion is contagious, so the next guy next to you will get in and so on and so on, so um, I'm very passionate about this team, um, you know, and hopefully I'll show the way, the way I play that, that passion comes out.